Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to update the bootloader and board ID in your FX405 flight controller from the T1 VTOL so that you can upgrade the official firmware normally. I hope you had great experience with the T1 VTOL because I did. It feels so well with the stock parameters from the factory, which makes me think that there's no need to update the firmware. But we all love the little stuff, right? Before I begin, I would like to credit ATX Heli on RC Group for guiding me on this. There are two methods to upgrade your firmware, depending on which patch is your FX405, but you won't be able to tell. First method is flashing a transitional firmware that contains the updated bootloader so that you can update your FC board ID from TE to FX405 and then upgrading to the latest firmware normally. The second method is just upgrading right away to V4.4.0 but with a different menu. Now let's start with the first method. So the first thing you're going to do is download the transitional firmware from the link in the description, which is this one. Just click on the file. Once it's downloaded, now connect your flight controller to your PC and go to setup, install firmware, then click load custom firmware. So select the firmware that we just downloaded. You show that it's reading the hex file. Unfortunately, I got an error here. So if you have successfully flashed the firmware, reboot the FC by unplugging it from the PC and then plugging it to the PC again. Then go to mission planner again, go to setup, Install firmware, click bootloader update. Unfortunately, I was not able to reach this step, so I have no footage of this. The second method. Plug in your FX405 to your PC, open Mission Planner, click all options, select the latest firmware, which is V4.4 at the time of shooting. Then the platform choose Hewing F405. Your board is most likely the V2 because only the very early batch of FX405 is V1, which is pretty limited. Mine is pretty recent, so I choose V2. Then version again, choose V4.4.0. Firmware again, choose the V2.apj. Then click upload firmware, it will download from the internet. I speed this up, in actual it actually takes a few heart beating minutes. Once it has done uploading, go back to the main menu, click connect on the top right. Click message to verify that you have upgraded the firmware version and the correct board ID as well. Thank you ATX Heli. Okay, this is a test of V4.4.0 official firmware from Autopilot and let's see how it goes. I'm going to take off from Q-Loiter mode, disarm the motor first. So if you start spinning itself and then you know. Still feeling quite numb as before. <coughs> oh, the roll is still very soft, very numb, you see. I'm on full roll now but it's not, not quite doing anything. You don't see much... Uh, Roll. So I roll left against the wind. That small angle. Front pitch is quite the same as before. So probably there's no point to upgrade from 4.3.5 from the factory uh, to a newer 4.4 or anything after that. And uh, this is GPS hole. I'm not doing anything. Not giving any input. Holding very well, as you can see the rocking there, I think it's uh, actively cor correcting it uh, with the wind on from our left and I'm facing wind now Fan 3, holding very well Oops So I think one good thing about having a newer firmware is the position hole is better than before And let's do a transition Facing headwind now at low altitude doing very well so transition was good flying this time it's not as soft as before it feels like a lot of uh, P on the PID red it's flying as fast as before just like well that's a characteristic of uh, T1 because it's a fast airfoil, high speed airfoil. Let's fly lower so you can see it. So, what I can notice is uh, before this, it was forward flying was softer. Well, in the newer firmware, it is more direct. The response is much faster on the roll. I'm just trying to fly as slow as I can and as slow as I can so you guys can see it so facing headwind you can fly rather slow as well but 
I think the nose is a bit heavy or my trim. So I'm gonna do a manual trim rather than using my radio because that affects the veto mode. So we 4.4 flying fine. Nothing wrong. I think it's good. You can uh, fly confidently. And let's try to be back to hover mode again, a veto mode again. What I like is uh, it pulls up to uh, help breaking it. And then transition back and forth is very nice. Pitch, I still have pitch as usual. Roll. Let's transition again. Very well. Being able to uh, make a transition to forward flying from a zero headwind, I mean from a zero forward speed is damn awesome. Okay, we're facing headwind. Transit. Okay, now I'm gonna try to put, give a roll. So authority I think is slightly better because in the previous time when I roll immediately after it has completed the retail transition, there's basically even at full roll there's no response. It's slightly better on this. And we are gonna try different PID from the factory on the next battery. So your I think your is slower than before. I think it was fast I think it was faster. Fully reverse. Fully forward, flies fine. Four V four point four point zero. Yes. This is the test of new PID from the factory for the V four point four point zero. We are gonna take off from Vito mode. So we told more the uh, control behaves the same. So I think this is a limitation of uh, being a three motor, a tricopter mode of uh, V There's not much authority from the roll. It's the same thing. The rather definitely faster now. Pitch. I'm uh, gonna do a transition. It's a bit higher, some more. Factory's PID does feel softer. Yeah, the roll. The roll is definitely much softer. For forward flying, it's definitely softer than the other pilot one. We're going to do another transition again. So we told both, I don't feel much difference from 4.3.5 uh, to V4.4.0 and then to uh, factory provided PID. Feel pretty much the same. Still lacking roll authority. Fish is fine. Although it's still quite small. Uh, we're gonna do a transition from a very low altitude. So being a twin tractor to go forward is really easy. Uh, 
So I think whatever PID, whatever firmware, the plane just flies fine. This is crazy, <laughs> is that you can land anywhere. So this position hole with 50% uh, throttle means uh, mid stick and it's actually the the best one is holding so far. It's holding very well. It's quite smooth as well because on the 4.4 stock firmware it was like rocking. I need to do different kind of wind but so this new PID seems better for holding. You see it's holding very well, fighting very well but it's just not as aggressive as the SOC autopilot firmware, uh, SOC autopilot uh, PID. So now it's rocking again because of wind. You just gotta try to uh, use that position hold for longer time. It's holding very well. This is better than uh, 4.3.5 Stock from stock PID. All right, so yeah, by far I think V four point four on factory purpose PID for position hold. That's the best. <laughs> this is okay because I was complaining that it was not holding well. It's drifting on a four point three point five, but this is holding super well, almost like a DJI. See, look at that. It's holding altitude very very good as well. It's good man, it's not moving. It's really not moving at all. Okay, someone is landing. Okay, if side wind, wind from the left and let it hold. I'm gonna bring up the altitude just a little bit, some more. How you land? Okay, I need to land. So that concludes the test flight. I put a summary here. If you want a VTOL fixed wing plane that flies reliably, no drama, carry free, high quality, this is the one. Check out our link in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Oh, subscribe too. Click the left thumbnail for latest video or smash the subscribe button on the middle of the screen. So I'll see you on the next video. Bye.